Right, I'm back again with another spend the day with me. I'm actually voiceovering this in a hotel right now. So that's why I'm whispering. Start the day off with returns and then I finished packing. This is me saying goodbye to my mum. Honestly, you'd actually think I was going away for like 10 years. I'm going away for a, like just over a week. But anyway, I was so excited at this point. On my way to the train station, my dad dropped me off. And obviously, what a good dad. He carried my case for me because it is so heavy. I am 100% over the weight restriction. Like, there is no way that my case is 22. Anyway, back at it again with the back camera. I actually said this wrong in the last voiceover. But yeah, back at it with the back camera. And then my dad waved and waited for me to get on the train. How cute. Um, you know, village girl <laughs> off to London. Always makes everyone laugh at work that I say that I'm from the village. But I actually am. This is my village. Then I got to King's Cross and I met Dom. We were both staying at London City Airport Hotel tonight. That was me just waiting with all our bags. And they were all so heavy. He's a celebrity hairstylist. He has so much. He has such a big kit. We checked into our hotel. This was my room, my room number. It's me in the mirror, mirror selfie. And then we went down and grabbed some dinner. It was quite late at this point. It was like 9pm, so we just got soup. And honestly, even looking back at this, this is just so <laughs> funny. The waiter gave me four spoons for my soup. We were laughing so much at this kit, but oh, you can't really hear the sound, so there's no point. Like it was kind of a happy, had to be that moment. <laughs> then I got back to my room. This was like 10 minutes ago, and I washed my hair, colour out, of course. And then Dom let me borrow his hairdryer. And I'm going to bed, and I am so excited for tomorrow. So 